I'm Ethan Ons from Fiasco Sports and SA Footballer Magazine and today I'm joined by Chuck Greer, Head of Football Operations from the Gazer Footy Club in the Division 2 and this is our weekly wrap. So Chuck, thanks for joining me. We'll just go over the results first from the Focus on Furniture Division 2 from yesterday. Voss Camden defeated Old Ignatians by 28. Henley defeated Sacred Heart Old Collegians by 45. Scotch Old Collegians defeated Pembroke Old Scholars by 25. Athelston defeated Broadview by 28 and Only Mercedes Jets defeated your boys Gazer by 17. Not an ideal result by any means. Um, how did you feel like the game played out from your perspective? Yeah, look, Ethan, the, the boys played extremely well. For three quarters, we thought we had their measure. In fact, we led it most quarters and uh, probably dominated most of the play in all those quarters. But in the last quarter, they got away from us. They kicked the seven goals to two in the last. And, uh, yeah, the boys did, while well, they battled on, uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the biscuits. But, uh, look, yeah, look, some promising sides because we've got a lot of young kids playing. But Unley do look very good with some of their big, tall forwards, are very strong, and they do dominate inside their 50. Absolutely. So you were 14 points up at three-quarter time, and then obviously they managed to have a good little surge in that fourth quarter. What would you put that down to? Yeah, look, they, when we looked at the numbers, they got the centre clearances. I think it was 6-1 to one in the last quarter, and they dominated that at the middle. And their inside 50s from those dominating uh, centre clearances actually paid off with goals. So um, that's probably where they got it. They jumped us in the last quarter. They kicked three to four goals probably within 10 minutes. And then once they hit the front, they sort of held on. So, but yeah. And um, who would you say were your, your best players yesterday? Who really stepped up for the occasion? Yeah, Adrian Stevens was very solid. Uh, he's obviously a, being a strong boy. He, he, he did really well. Some of our younger players played well. Um, Braden Lord has stood up when, when needed, did some good tackles inside 50. Um, a lot of our juniors, Jack Jarrett's coming along quite nicely. And Ashley Bruce up front with four goals played extremely well as well. Absolutely. And um, five and four going into the, the, the bye, the weekend off. Um, how important do you feel like that is for the boys just to recharge the batteries and get ready for that second half? Look, it's very important. Uh, the rest has probably come at a good time. We've got some sore bodies. And look, to be honest, um, we probably thought we'd probably be one, probably two out of those four games we've, we've dropped uh, to put us around that second position. But no, look, we, we're going well. Um, we probably do need the rest. And coming back from that, we've got uh, yeah, the second half of the year looks pretty exciting as well. Absolutely. I'm previewing the next round in the Focus on Furniture Division 2. Broadview and we'll play Sacred Heart Old Collegians. What's your tip for that? I think Sacred Heart may be just too strong. Uh, unfortunately, I think Broadview, they lost a few of their players, their mainstay players, is probably not going to help them. But I think Sacred Heart. Uh, Pembroke and Athelston? Yeah, interesting. I think Athelston will probably win that one, um, just purely because, once again, they are a stronger side than Pembroke. But although you never know if Jimmy Allen and Ben Williams and these guys can come up. They might be pretty good. Old Ignatians and Henley? Interesting. I think Henley by plenty. Uh, uh, only Mercedes Jets and Foss Camden? I think Unley should win that, um, only because I think, once again, they're probably stronger inside 50. And, uh, the, and Scotch will play your boys' gazer. Um, obviously, I guess you, 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 you want to back your boys and hope they'll get up. Um, what sort of game, game and playing style are you expecting? Yeah, look, I mean, uh, you know, we're playing up at Scotch, so it'll be interesting. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a funny ground, that, that ground. But look, our boys should stand up. We, we do have two or three coming back in, which probably strengthen our side. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. I think we'll probably get up by three or four goals. Awesome. Thanks, Chuck. I'm Ethan Ons from Fiasco Sports and SA Footballer Magazine. And today I was joined by Chuck Greer, Head of Football Operations at the Gazer Footy Club from the Division 2. And that was our weekly wrap.